We're real life sisters, Kay and Chai, and we real life want to be your sisters too. Welcome to the family. No takesies, backsies. Now let's get on with the Kay and Chai show. Okay, we're rounding out here in the BSC student week with one of our favorite uh, principles, which is to call it like it is. Now, yesterday or in the last installment, we talked about how clarity counts, and this is an, in alignment with this message, but a little bit different because there is this real tendency to sugarcoat things or hide certain uh, inevitable truths in webs of communication and conversation that can make the message not only only not clear and, and a little bit befuddled, but can make the mission and the motivation wane as well. And so calling it like it is means that we're courageous and we're willing to say the hard thing, to, to, to plainly define reality, to not be so visionary, so pie in the sky, so optimistic that we aren't able to see the weeds in the garden, if you will. Um, and so being able to call it like it is, is one of those skills that as we refine it over time, we really see it's that. Now, one of the hardest people to be this level of truthful with is yourself. Maybe every single night you head down to the freezer and you pull out that ice cream tub and you have a tub of ice, you know, a, a cup of ice cream. And every single night, that's your ritual and that's what you do. And what you say to yourself is, well, I just like my sweet treat or it's my, you know, it's my one thing. Uh, but you also are having some candy during your lunch and you're also snacking on um, some sweet stuff in the afternoon. Now, chances are, that cup of ice cream is actually a sugar addiction and not just that sweet treat at the end of the day, especially if it's happening every single day of your life. And so it can be really difficult to have this level of honesty with yourself because our brains are master justifiers, super master justifiers. I'm just too tired. I don't have time. We don't have money. Um, but calling it like it is means using phrases like I'm not willing to do that, or I'm choosing not to engage in the healthy behavior or the constructive behavior, or maybe even in the destructive behavior, because this is going to align also with celebrate yourself. Call it like it is. Like if you freaking rocked something, call it like it is. Yes. You deserve that pat on the back. You should call it like it is. You knocked it out of the park. You've got a home run. Call it like it is goes both ways, but we find it uh, usually, I think, harder to call it like it is when it can when it can be one of those sticky things or something that we're struggling with. Um, one of the uh, metaphors that John Maxwell likes to use is, you know, the leader is really someone who, when they're lost with a party and they're trying to, to get back to the crash site or whatever, you know, they'll climb the tree to get the view uh, and they'll, they'll call out to their party, wrong jungle, right? So they, they're, they're, they're calling it like it is. We're not even close to where we are. Um, and, and this can be really helpful, especially in leadership. It can be helpful in understanding for your team, right? If your team has this idea that you're really close to the end, but you're really far from the goal actually, and you're the leader and you've been sugarcoating it or trying to keep hope alive by not just telling everyone where you're actually at, this can be one of the things that ends up demotivating the team as they get closer because they realize that the goal is further than, than they might have seen initially. Now, last week you heard us talk about crisis leadership. And Shai, you talked a little bit about this, uh, this nut of realism surrounded by the chocolate of hope. And I think that that's a really great way to think about uh, if you're a leader, that calling it like it is, isn't about being pessimistic. It's not about having that, um, I, I think most pessimists would call themselves realists, mm -hmm. right? So saying I'm just a realist and that's, that is how it is, but it's about balancing this idea of this truthfulness, this reality of the situation while continuing to breed hope in the people that follow you. Tony Robbins says, you know, don't, you, you, can, you don't just want to look at your garden and chant, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, right? That would be kind of that, that maybe idealistic picture of positive thinking and affirmations to manifest the garden with no weeds. He says, you know, if you really want to be a leader and an achiever um, and, and a high earner in all respects of, of the word, then you're going to look at the garden and you're going to say, there's weeds right there. 
And what are the strategies to getting out weeds? And what are the ones that are going to employ methods that I am in alignment with? And so calling it like it is and saying there's weeds in the garden or money's running out or my health is in danger or our relationship is on the rocks. Calling it like it is allows you to have clarity about where your starting place is so that you can identify where it is that you want to go from there and ultimately take steps to do it. So we want to call it like it is so that we can gain the clarity so we can consistently take action and then we can celebrate ourselves along the way. We hope that you've enjoyed being a C student with us here this week on the K and Shy Show. And we're here to celebrate you and help you in your consistency, in your clarity and in your ultimate truths. Thanks everybody. We're in your corner and we're rooting for you. Have a great weekend.